In HealthWorks, the only thing worse than getting sick with the flu is getting sick and staring down an empty medicine cabinet. If you have no idea what you need to create a flu kit, here are five good ideas. I do have some stuff in my cabinet that dates back a few years, so you got to throw that stuff away. Now, when it comes to a thermometer, you can spend a lot on a thermometer or a little. It seems to me that digital thermometers are probably your best bet. They're easy to read, they're quick, they're accurate, they're about less than 10 bucks at a drugstore, and they can be used in the mouth, the armpit, or for babies, of course. The bottom is the most accurate reading. Our Ben Bailey recently had a bout with sickness. You were off for a week, Ben. A uh, full week, yes. I chose the uh, the mouth for the thermometer Most reading. Most adults do, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? I, I read the instructions, and this is what fascinated me in my 30-odd years on this planet. There is only a small area under your tongue that will actually register 98.6. Oh, okay, so you have to pocket. find that, that sweet spot, if you will. Yeah, it's all the way at the back and just just uh, against uh, your, your tongue. Yeah. So how about that? So you learned something. Did you have a comfort food that you wish you had? It, some saltines, verners, what is it for Jello. you? Jello. Oh. Jello. I went to Kroger and I, I bought them out of Jello. Yeah, I really Really? Did. Yeah. Eating all that Jello would make me sick. <laughs> I, it, it was something... Well, even if you think you've done everything you can to baby-proof your home, chances are there are still plenty of dangers for your little ones. They're lurking everywhere, those dangers. This month is Baby Safety Month. Joining us from Babies R Us is Brandy Mosier. Welcome, Brandy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Brandy is actually at the Auburn Hills store. It's mm -hmm. a store, Brandy, that I had spent at one time. I was a regular at that store. Not so much anymore. <laughs> only to buy presents. Okay, so we're going to talk about, it's always changing. Just yes. when you think you're, you're all stocked up and good to go, the technology changes. And so... One of the, the cool things is this day and night handheld video monitor. So this is something, so Brandy, the idea is what? You can check in on baby without even going near the door. Yeah, absolutely. You can see them, you can hear them. Um, it has LED lights, special made for evening, so you can actually just see the baby right from your room and not have to go in there and bother them. So it's night vision, so the camera here is on baby, and then this is right next to Parent. mom in mm -hmm. bed or dad, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Dad's always sleeping yeah. in my house. <laughs> and it does have a convenient belt clip too, so if you're out doing any gardening or anything right. of that nature you can actually see and hear the baby. Sneak out on the deck yeah. and have a little iced tea <laughs> and still be watching baby. It's right. funny how you open that door and you would sneak in and uh, hopefully the baby wouldn't hear you. Okay, right. let's talk about the sleep sacks. I know I had these for my kids. This mm -hmm. is to replace a blanket because yes. as we talk about baby safety, SIDS of course, one of the huge concerns with newborns. You are not supposed to have any blankets in the crib even in the middle of winter. Correct. So tell us about this. Randy. Well what this does is it really does take the place of of a blanket um, you would basically put this right over top of the infant over top of their pajamas whether it's a layout of any kind of um, sort okay. it's very soft it zips up the front so makes changing even easier in those midnight feedings um, and it's pretty snug you, what yeah. you don't want is it to bunch up around the face correct it comes in multiple different sizes just for that fact alone we it ranges from newborn all the way up to large yeah you don't want to buy a big one for baby you right. want it to be snug and then um, they'll grow into it okay this is it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. This is to protect injuries in the bathtub. Correct. It actually covers the spout of your faucet in the tub, clips right on top of it. Um, so that way, and it also provides like a 12 inch jet stream out the end of it so oh. that uh, you don't have, it makes it a lot easier to rinse the hair uh, when you're washing the baby. Okay, so it shoots the water out. Yeah. More. Very mm -hmm. nice. And you can it, put a little soap in there. Yes. Yep. And the, the child can uh, actually dispense it themselves so they don't have to worry about pouring the whole bottle of bubble bath in the, in the tub. That is good. Yes. <laughs> that has happened at my house many a time. Yes. Okay. Now check out the, uh, the little binky here. And uh, so there it is. It's in its little, so this is how baby enjoys it. Yes. And then I'm going to drop it. it. Yes, because they play the dropping game. See how it closes? It's great. That That's way you don't good. have to worry about um, injury. If you're at the store in the mall shopping, uh, I always see moms kind of pick it up and, oh, you know, what are you going to do with it now? Pull out another ah, one. Yeah, you do a little wipe off. Yeah. Three second rule. Yep. So <laughs> that actually um, helps prevent uh, extra germs when the baby's playing the tossing game. Yeah, especially <laughs> when it hits the floor at the mall and yeah. you have a crying baby and you don't oh, know what to do. Not fun. I guess you could do a little maybe hand sanitizer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is like the Cadillac of car seats. Yes. And uh, 
tell us why. This was designed at Kettering, right? Yeah, absolutely. Kettering University helped design this Air Protect car seat by Safety First. Um, it has multiple functions. You can use it from basically birth all the way up to 50 pounds. Um, it has a, a sleek design and it helps to uh, prevent any head and neck injury. There's been so much uh, child fatality and side impact crashes. This car seat it was specifically designed to help minimize any of that injury in side impact crashes. All right, good information, Brandy. That's about 250 bucks, yeah. by mm -hmm. the way. How long does a child stay in that car well, seat? 50 pounds really can range anywhere between three, five years old, really depends on the child. Okay, and this, then they can start out as an infant in this one. Yep, they and, sure can, and five go all pounds. The way up to toddler. Yep. All right. Very good. On our website, by the way, I should tell you that on our mornings page, on our all new mornings page, uh, we have placed information about every room in the house, how to baby proof those rooms and make them safe. Brandy, thank you to you. Thank you good so information much. this morning. Alan. Blindness reversed and a woman's tooth helps her regain her sight. Just some of the stories Dina is working on and health works this morning. It's fascinating. First of all, dying of a broken heart is blindness could soon be reversed. That's according to scientists with the universities of Washington and Florida. We're seeing all the green and red. All right, this story is strange. Doctors in Miami were able to restore a blind woman's sight by putting one of her teeth in her eye, a tooth in her yeah. eye. Like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. You know, who would have thought that they could what, do that. And what they're discovering with stem cells and DNA and mm -hmm. genetic codes and everything else is that, you know, parts of your body can acclimate to other body mm -hmm. parts. Amazing. Wow, I'm still waiting for the Vincent Cartlidge. I know, your knee. Yeah, I know. be nice. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to make that discovery just for you, Emily. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to let us take a camera in yeah, I'll be like, and show the surgery. Yeah, then I'll be like 85. Thanks right. a lot. Appreciate it. You right. won't even get a flu shot. No, I won't. Let but, alone but, knee surgery. But Carla's, that'll that's, take him to the doctor. Different. All right. That'll, that'll bring him I know, in. you get your game back. That's right, get my game back on. <laughs> well, paint a room in less than an hour and never use tape again. To oh. some of the promises of a new painting product. We all love the sound of that, mm -hmm. but are they true or are the makers just painting themselves into a corner. Problem solver Rob Wolchek puts the point and paint to the fame or shame test. Rob, you know, the, the taping off is the worst part of painting. That is absolutely the worst part of the painting, and this is a product that Jason...